What up, Internet? My name is Chris, and you're about to watch one of my math videos. And I just want to let you know that if you want live tutoring, or if you just need homework solutions, or if you just want to watch all my free math videos, please visit my website at mathmeaning.com. Once again, mathmeaning.com, and I would love to help you out. In the meantime, enjoy my video, and take care. Welcome to my video. I'm going to teach you how to solve exponential equations. Uh, notice step one on the left-hand side of the screen. Uh, step one says, create the same base on um, both sides of the equation. Um, and sometimes that is not possible, in which case uh, you need to use logarithms uh, to solve the equation. Uh, but for this particular example, um, we are able to create the same base. And whenever that is possible, you must use uh, this method, which I'm about to teach you. Uh, so let's get started with this example. So here we have 9 raised to the 2x plus 1 equals 27 raised to the x minus 5. And notice how we have a base of 9 on the left-hand side, and we have a base of 27 on the right-hand side of the equation. And in step number 1 is we want to create the same base on both sides of the equation. Um, so we know that 9 can be written as 3 squared, and 27 can be written as 3 cubed. Um, so I'm going to write each side of the equation with a base of 3. So the first thing I'm going to do is just rewrite my 9 as 3 squared. And we can't forget to put the 2x plus 1 exponent. And that equals, now I'm going to rewrite my 27 as 3 cubed. And I can't forget about my x minus 5 exponent. Now we have completed step number 1. We have created the same base, a base of 3, on both sides of the equation without changing it at all. And like I said before, sometimes it's not possible uh, to create the same base on both sides of the equations, um, in which case um, you have to use logarithms to solve. But we have created the same base, so let's move on to step number two, uh, which is multiply the exponents. Uh, whenever you have uh, one exponent on top of another, uh, you can multiply the exponents. So notice how we have a two exponent um, on the left-hand side, and we have a two x plus one exponent on top of it. Um, so I'm going to, to multiply this two with the two x plus one. So I'm going to rewrite my base, three. 2 multiplied by 2x is 4x, and 2 multiplied by 1 is just positive 2. Now I'm going to multiply uh, my 3 exponent with the x minus 5. Uh, 3 multiplied by x is 3x. And 3 multiplied by negative 5 is negative 15. Now once we have multiplied our exponents, we can move on to step number 3. Um, and now we can cancel out our bases. So we can both cancel out these 3's. Now we are left with 4x plus 2 equals 3x minus 15. Now the last thing we have to do is solve for x. Many of you probably already know how to do this. Subtract 3x from both sides. And subtract 2 from both sides. And we are left with x equals negative 17. And this is our final answer. I hope this helped you understand solving exponential equations a little bit better. Um, if you need any extra help with live tutoring, homework solutions, or just a complete list of all my free math videos, uh, please visit my website at mathmeeting.com. Uh, once again, mathmeeting.com. Um, also, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and take care.